Welcome! Hey! hey. Opa! <laughs> we are hey. just one more level. We're just one more level with our E3 coverage extravaganza spectacular thing. We're here to talk about Ubisoft's E3 conference. Yep. See how they followed up uh, EA and all that fun stuff. Uh, they kicked off their conference with a brand new IP okay. titled For Honor. Hell yeah, they did. For Honor. For Honor. It's chivalry with Vikings and Samurai. 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 Was that racist? I think that was kind of racist. Probably. I'm Troy Dracius. I'm Meatloaf. I'm Roar Bagels. I'm Pony Mom X12. Bravo. And insert a funny comment here. Yeah. What? That works. That kind of that kind of works. Yeah. Caption that. Uh, sure. Uh, so for honor, kicking off Ubisoft's conference, uh, they definitely, out of all the companies, they had some rebuilding to do with the fact that they, yeah. they kind of had a rough holiday season last year with. You know, Assassin's Creed Unity and Assassin's Creed Rogue. And Both failing. <laughs> yeah. Just terrible. That their games were shitty and didn't work is what we're getting at. And then yes. they wanted you to pay more money for them to not work. Yes. Yes. Like season passes and expansions and shit. And to buy the <clears throat> chests. When your characters are designed and they're supposed to have faces and they don't have faces. Or heads. Or heads yeah. and they float around and there's all kinds of problems. You Regardless, Unity. Cars are just coming sucked. right out of houses. <laughs> There yeah. goes the cab bus. That's going back here. Okay. Like, apparently, I can't do that. <coughs> so they definitely had a lot of ground to make up. Uh, so kicking off their conference with a completely brand new game with For, uh, For Honor, the Dynasty Warriors style game. Pretty cool. It was they, great. It shows that Loved hey, it. they they can do other things besides Assassin's Creed and multiple versions of Assassin's Creed, not yeah, called Assassin's looks Creed. Looks fun. So. Yeah. Uh, I mean, for the most part, the cinematic trailer. It showed just that uh, they, they went from the knights to the Vikings to the samurai, and then back and forth until they killed one another. And then the yes. gameplay, they had uh, samurais versus uh, knights, knights, and knights just whooped that ass. It was great. <laughs> anyway. So yes, uh, then they transitioned to South Park, wait for it, the fractured butthole. Oh. Not to be confused with the anatomical butthole, but butthole. Like B U T but W H O L E. Yes. It's, because it's that would be fracture. inappropriate if they said butthole. Yes. I'm sure they're going to say butthole a lot in the game. Oh, just, uh, like, I'm a lot. just going to say butthole a lot. So, like, so much. It's, Ridiculous. It's technically it's a sequel to the Order of the. Or, Stick a truth. Okay. And I'm excited because um, Stick the Stick of Truth is fantastic! Was. Trey Parker and Matt Stone actually, you know, <laughs> had some say in. What were the, the classes in that again? It was like the Paladin, the Ranger, the Thief, and, and the, the Jew. Jew. Yes. That was right! The Jew yes. was your spellcaster class and it sucked. And <laughs> <laughs> well, what's awesome is Trey Parker and Matt Stone are obviously going to have their hands in this one too. And, yeah. you know, they had so many failures in. In the past South Park games, yeah. but this one was such a huge success they, they, because they, they were a part of it. They're not was, talking about the yeah. Nintendo 64 version. I mean, I remember everyone yeah. thinking when when the Stick of Truth was coming out, and I was like, "Oh, another South Park game." Yeah. And then yeah. a few people played it, and they're like, "This is good." Really and then good. some critics got their hands on them, and they're like, "Wow, it actually is actually kind of good." Not gonna lie, they I laughed so, so hard surprised. I cried. I left so hard I cried. Then yeah. everyone else got their hands on it, and it's just a fantastic game. If I remember correctly, going into the new year, there was a Just One More Topic that featured Rar Bagels that said that South Park The Stick of Truth was the surprise of 2014. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Agreed. That was just completely, holy shit, it's actually good. Uh, the, I don't, I, like, the most under... Like the underdog game or something, you, you this will give you a great opportunity to go back and watch some of the older episodes of Just One More Topic, starting so, with one. Subscribe. Yes, subscribe. Describe. 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 Um, you got a first subscriber today. Me. Sweet. Our our studio audience of one. <laughs> so, uh, the crew is getting new content with Wild Run. Looks fun. It kind of looks like they're taking everything from like Burning Man, 
or what you would see in a Fast and Furious movie, did, and putting it on the console. But did they even sell a copy of the crew? Jeff bought it. I don't know anybody to besides them. you that plays that game. He, like, like, he loves it. He plays it. He loves it. I want not, it. Not really. I it, really want it's it. an interesting concept, kind of yeah, an open world just racing didn't really sim. Have, there, there wasn't enough momentum behind the game, and there wasn't enough newness to it to really... Yeah, you can drive Grab across people. the U.S. in five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> that was fantastic. Yeah, I'm kind of... Like, you can drive across the U.S. But it takes absolutely no time. Yes. There's Oklahoma. Oklahoma. <laughs> so, it uh, looks like the notes also say festival-oriented. Yeah, like Burning Man. Okay. Yeah. Just one of them. Fast and Furious. Okay. Uh, Trials Fusion Awesome Level Max. It had a cat wait, riding wait. a unicorn. Wait, so what? it's basically Forza Event Horizon? Is that what you're yes, saying? Yes, I am exactly saying that. Wow, okay. Yeah, but then, you know, things happen. Uh, obviously, new stuff on The Division, which, oh my god, the game looks amazing. It's fantastic. It, it's highly Waited promising. Waited so long for this Four game. Four-player co-op? Yes, speaking of which, it is like the easiest way to troll the shit out of your friends. Because it showed people... Uh, just grouping up and playing one mission, and at the end of the mission, when they're about to extract, you see one guy hurt, and they're like, Oh, I'll pick him up, don't worry. One guy's like, Abandoned team. Yes or yes. And it says, Going rogue. Just pulls out his pistol, <laughs> executes the one guy, kills the guy healing the other one. You see this one guy try to fight back, and he shoves a fucking grenade down his throat. It's oh quite God. brutal. Uh, <laughs> Loved see. it. Oh, yes, uh, the note Betrayal is a thing. Yeah. That's uh, it, every single time I've seen The Division... I have so many friends that are going to take advantage of that, I can already see it. God, uh, it. I'm, I'm it's super be a excited for it. The helicopter. <laughs> I'm Get super on, excited friends. for it. It's going to be fun. Yeah, like, the fact that four-player co-op... You know, it's last year... Thing. Last year's E3 was Two definitely player. very, uh, like, co-op-esque stuff. Like, everything was talking about co-op. I'm glad to see that there's still some things that are expanding upon the whole co-op thing, and... Hopefully the division actually turns out to be good, because uh, there's a lot of hype around it, and yep. if it releases and it's bad, well, good. Fuck. Um, One out of four Tom Clancy games that they're releasing in the next yes. couple of years? <laughs> yeah. They are, they're, they're back on track to just slap his name on everything. I mean, he's dead, he can't really stop it. Uh, Anno, Anno 2205? Uh, it looks kind of like... Um, Beyond Earth? Yeah, Civilization Beyond Earth. It looks like it's actually carbon copied from Civilization so like Beyond a, Earth. A space sim yes. type thing. Yeah. Okay, cool. You start from the moon, you go to Earth, then you go from the Earth to somewhere else in the galaxy. Why don't you just go from the moon to? Shh. That's why. That's why we did it. We did it wrong. <laughs> we went from the Earth to the moon. We should have started on the moon the whole time. Oh. Yeah, it gave us the most resources. <laughs> okay. There's no speed limit there, along with yeah, no yeah. gravity and no yeah, air. Like there's. Wow, okay. Thing. So and you can be okay. 500 pounds Logistics and fly. Logistics to worry about them. Yes. Yeah. You can be Superman on the moon. We don't discuss plot holes here, guys. Oh. Shit. Master Chief story ended in three. Uh, Just <laughs> Dance. Uh, looks like streaming DLC year-round. Uh, they had a guy come on stage and sing and dance. And he had backup dancers. Rainbow Six Siege. <laughs> <laughs> That's about that's about all the attention we can give. We can give about so, 12 seconds. They had Tom Clancy's The Division. They had Rainbow Six. Siege. Yes. With Siege. Yes. Siege. Um, it wasn't really clarified, but it looks like maybe just the Xbox One version will also have uh, Rainbow Six Vegas and Vegas 2 packed in, uh, along with Siege. So you're getting three games for the price of one. That's a deal. But despite Siege the looks awesome. I mean, there's stuff in that that just in, just in the gameplay trailers. Wasn't there like that an airplane scene. Yeah. There's the the first like, trailer they released was you rescuing hostages off an airplane. And it was uh, but the first. Like, the breaching, though, like, I mean, yeah, yeah. Call of Duty has breaching, blah, blah, blah. But this, I mean, you can like breach teamwork. anywhere, blow a hole in the floor, and infiltrate yeah. the. I yeah. mean, that's just. Yeah. That's crazy awesome. The first time they showed it on the cinematics today, they go, all right, we need, uh, I think they said the flesh hammer. You see this giant bald dude with this giant sledgehammer. And he just goes, bam! You see this wall explode out where physics makes no sense. Because Vigi Games. Vigi Games. Uh, I, I, I think games don't do physics unless you're EA sports. I, I, I think I need to point this out because it's got two exclamation points to it. Uh, AI is smart. Oh yeah, no, they they showed the tarot hunt today, and it was stupid. 
how smart the fucking AI was. The terrorists were killing everybody. But they did that pretty well Fine. in uh, Rainbow Six Vegas, too, because the, the AI would always try to flank you. It's worse than this one. Oh, wow. They have cloaking abilities and stuff like that. Oh, Jesus. Oh, great. Weird. Uh, That'll be fun. And I'm yeah, guessing uh, beta September 24th. Uh, in one of the videos, uh, the one for Bethesda, we posted up a link. It, was there, is there a link to get to the beta for... There will be. Um, there wasn't really anything up whenever they released it. They just okay. said, hey, you pre-order this game now. Uh, okay. We'll send you it later. At least it's not pre-purchased, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you mean like stuff and maybe the Sony conference? Yeah. Maybe, because it hasn't happened yet. Yes. Or it looks like uh, Trackmania Turbo. That was just insane French madness. Yeah. Insane French madness. Okay. It really is. It's it's like everything you see on Formula One racing on oh, crack. Okay. I would think like French Revolution crazy, but. Well, I guess. Uh, it's the French had a. It, it went. Uh, deux, trois, it went trois, ou, deux. It, it was cool. And I just said 3 1 2 in case anyone caught that. I got it. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, and then of course Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Uh, looks like 1868. There's a new protagonist, a female protagonist. London. It's happening in London. Kicked ass. Oh yeah. She yeah. threw somebody into a like, fire pit. And she threw another dude into a giant what? slammy thing. <laughs> I, and then I, like threw the knife and it stuck in his head and then stuck her knife or her cane sword through his throat. Through, it was freaking yeah. ridiculous. Everything. She was not taking it. Any of their shit. When when that little that plate landed and it, I, I mean, oh god, that yeah, that she like throws a guy onto this like big flat thing. And you're like, oh, nothing that bad happened. It's yeah. like the the giant uh, stone things from Mario. Yeah, they were Ruby swapped. Yeah. There were Ruby zero fucks given by her, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, she was all like, I'm the fucking assassin here. You get the fuck out of my way. Oh, you're not. You're dead. <laughs> so, yes. uh, Gang Warfare, nice. uh, oh, that's the beginning of our notes, okay. London, Guns, Industrial, all that fun stuff. Uh, that little, next, little, little steampunky. Yeah, it was, very steampunkish. Uh, but yeah, again, just don't fuck no, with not it. Not Dishonored steampunky, though. No, no, no. That, was a little, that was like Industrial Revolution on crack. And there was yeah. a gameplay show, I believe, or was it just a... Dishonored had some gameplay today. Yeah. I mean, Assassin's Creed. Uh, no, no, no it was all cinematic. Okay. Uh, and of course, the return of Ghost Recon with whoa, Wildlands. Yes. I screwed up twice trying to write that down because I thought it said like wildfire and then I missed what it said, so I either wrote it down twice. Yeah, and it's, it's marked out on my notes. It's just bad. Yeah. I can't write. Ghost Recon Wildlife. Uh, which could be their their attack on uh, the Cabela's game. It's, it's, well, it's, it's or Ghost Recon another. Wild Fire, which could be you know fire it's, it's fighters in California. Ghost Recon. Beedle, beedle. Um, it's just continuing yeah. to chug along. Yeah, it's like everything you As would like have took from like Night Army Two, <laughs> like Army yeah. Two's uh, fight against the cartel or whatever it was. Uh, it was a really bad game. I know. Mm. Army Two kind of but went downhill. I <laughs> haven't been impressed with. Ghost Recon. Since this one looks AW. pretty interesting. Like you fight against the cartel, or you can like steal the cartel's things and sell it for your own stuff. It should like four different ways to steal this guy's cocaine. So corruption, open world. It's the return of Ghost Recon. Cocaine. Just one more level does not condone drug use. And it was in South America. They were stealing it from this Cocaine. Mexican drug. So, anyway, that was the Ubisoft conference. I, I would say they had a fairly solid conference. They had three Tom Clancy titles, yeah. uh, bringing back Ghost Recon, showing the division. Uh, they had Just Dance. Not as, not as strong as Bethesda. Just but Dance I think not they're, being they're okay. a Tom Clancy title. Yes, I think wait. I should say that. Yeah, because he just said it. Just Dance is not a Tom Clancy title. <laughs> That would be so rad. That's how they make that franchise. You see them shooting guns as they're dancing on the back of dance. That is how they dance. That is how they make the Just Dance franchise successful. They have an actual person come into your house with a gun. They need to call it shooting your feet. They could call it like Zombie Tom Clancy Just Dance. There you go. It would be awesome because he's dead. Money. I'd buy it. There we go. I'm Tridracius. I'm Meatloaf. I'm Rar Bagels. I'm Pony Mom X12 Bravo, and I have nothing to say.
which is Thank the first. Yeah. We'll see you all after the Sony conference.